This video looks at the geometric interpretation of a system of linear equations with three variables. This is the first part of five parts for this video for this video series. This first one just looks at the visual representation of systems of linear equations with three variables. The next set of videos will look at examples of each of the cases when we're looking at solutions to systems of linear equations with three variables. Now before we start, make sure you watch those intro videos because there's some good visuals there which will help you understand the three cases and therefore understand the algebraic solutions that we'll be doing. So in this diagram here, we have the th three axes, X, Y, and Z. I've relabeled so our Z is facing upwards because that's how we're going to be working more so. So I've just relabeled them with how we'll normally be using them. So our three equations would be A1X plus B1Y plus C1Z equals D1, etc. So this system represents three planes. You've got the X plane, the Y plane, and the Z plane. So when we're looking at types of solutions with three dimensions, we have three cases. One, as you can see from this picture, it intersects at one point. Case two, we have no solutions. Now there's two possibilities for no solutions. One, they're parallel planes. So just like with two variables where you have parallel lines that never meet, if we have parallel planes, they are not going to meet. The other possibility with no solutions is no common intersection point. So our planes intersect, but because there's three and they're planes, they may not intersect at the same point. And you can see that by these two diagrams here. Now our third case is infinitely many solutions. So the planes are coincident, meaning they're the same plane, or the planes intersect at a single line. So there's two possibilities for infinitely many solutions. Now I've only shown the planes intersecting at a single line and you can see that quite well. For planes being the same, they would be lying on top of each other. Now the next three videos are gonna look at each of these cases.